Hello guys. Okay, we're going to run through the top 20 questions on introduction to cardiovascular system. If you are just meeting me for the first time, of course, I'm Sir Peter. It's nice meeting you. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, the first most important thing is ensure you are subscribed. And then the second lovely thing is this, ensure that you have the Learn Lift app that contains a lot of fast questions that you can run through. Are you with me? Yes, the notes are there. Every single thing is just still for you in the app. Yeah, let's go together, guys. So we're going to look at the first question here. The beautiful question here says that, let's look at it together. Wow, who is excited? What role do valves play in cardiovascular system? The role of valves. I'm sure you know the correct answer. Option A says generate heartbeat. Option B says maintain blood pressure. C says prevent bad flow of blood. And option D says increase vascular resistance. Now, what role do valves play in cardiovascular system? Of course, valves, they ensure unidirectional flow of blood or one-way flow of blood and they prevent the backflow of blood. That makes option C the correct answer. Look at question 2. In this beautiful question 2, we're giving this lovely question. What is the main function of the lungs in the cardiovascular system? Of course, the lungs. What do they use? What are they used for in cardiovascular system in particular? As related to cardio, option A says metabolize waste products. Mm -hmm. Option B says filter blood. Option C says exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. Option D says produce red blood cells. Now, um, okay, if you say bone marrow, of course, you can say they produce red blood cells. Are you getting me now? Metabolized waste product. Waste product majorly is kidney. Are you getting me now? Filter blood. Filter blood. Of course, kidney also filter blood. And then option C says exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. That makes option C the correct answer, which is the main function of the lungs and cardiovascular system. Option C, the correct answer. Look at question 3. Very lovely. In our beautiful question 3 here, the question says, what is the purpose of passive filling of the heart chamber? We have established something that um, the heart is filled passively, not actively. What is the purpose of the passive filling? Option A says to actively draw blood into the heart. Mm. Option B says to prevent bad flow of blood. That's wrong. Option C says to maintain positive main pressure. Option D says to ensure efficient ejection of blood. Of course, the heart is filled passively during diastole to ensure efficient ejection of blood during 6 to damage option P, the correct answer. Look at the next question here. Question 4, who is excited? Let's go, guys. And see, the beautiful thing, what we're making today are following is that you are getting these things. If you don't fit, you're not, you're not following the way. Hey. What is the primary function of cardiovascular system in relation to hormones? So, hormones, it should be the thing that you should be looking at. The option is a production of hormones. No. Now, hormones are chemical substances or biochemical substances produced in minute quantity in one part of the body and are transported to the point of action where they are their specific purposes. And hormones are produced in glands, right? And then they are now transported by the aid of the cardiovascular system. That's beautiful, by either deficient or something. Option B says regulation of hormonal level. That's wrong. Option C says transport of hormones. Option D says elimination of hormones. Now, cardiovascular system, what's the difference in relation to hormones? Of course, transport of hormones is the answer. Look at the next question here, question 5. Question 5 says that uh, what is the role of blood circulation in regulating blood temperature? Temperature. So we're looking at temperature. What's the role of blood circulation as regards what temperature? How do they regulate temperature? Option A says blood carries heat from internal organ to the skin. Option B says blood absorbs excess heat from the environment. Wow, absorber. Option C says blood distributes heat to internal organs. Or wrong. Option D says blood releases heat from the lungs. Now, what's the correct answer? Of course, blood carries heat from the internal organs to the skin so that they can do what to release it to the environment. Option D is the correct answer. Look at the next question here, question 6. Question 6 says, what and which factor influences the rate of blood flow in the blood vessels? Of course, we have looked at three major factors. What are the three factors? Of course, number one, we said it is called your um your blood, your sorry, your number one is called your vessel diameter, number two is your vessel length, and then number three is called your blood viscosity. These are the three major factors here. Option A says heart chamber. <laughs> Option B says blood viscosity. Option C says body temperature and then lock capacity. What's the correct answer? Of course, the correct answer you have there is your blood viscosity, making option B the correct answer. There are just three major of them that we have looked at for the national move. I'm gonna show you more. Question seven here. Beautiful question 7 says that uh, which organ is responsible for eliminating carbon dioxide from the body? Carbon dioxide, of course, is lungs. Liver, kidney, lungs, skin. Of course, you know the answer. Lungs are right. Look at question 8, guys. Let's go. Question 8 says that uh, try this for me. What is the function of cardiovascular system in, 
in transporting immune components in transporting immune components of course immune immune of course option a says transporting immune cells to the lungs b says transporting antigens to the skin option is transporting immune and and, and and transporting antibodies and immune cells through the body option d says uh, transporting immune cells to the liver what is the function of cardiovascular system cvs in transporting immune components of course what's the correct answer very simple the answer is option c there transporting antibodies and immune cells through their body look at question 9. beautiful question here says that uh, which circuit of cardiovascular system carries oxygenated blood to body tissues of course one carries the other one carries deoxygenated pulmonary we carry deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs to receive oxygenation once it has received oxygenation it now transports oxygenated blood back to the heart but the question is which circuit of cardiovascular system carry oxygenated blood to the body tissues what will carry it of course you should know the direct answer that it is systemic circulation option a says systemic b says pulmonary c says coronary d says hepatic now what is the correct answer there of course option a is the correct answer systemic circulation what's pulmonary pulmonary is what i just explained from heart to the lungs back to the heart against pulmonary which one is coronary coronary so we circulate the the the, the substances of the heart heart you are supplying everything what will supply the heart in particular of course it's coronary circulation which one is hepatic circulation of course anytime you hear the word hepato hepatic that's liver so hepatic artery we have the hepatic artery hepatic vein they are carrying blood to the way everybody down to the liver and then there's what is also called your porta hepatic porta triad system let's not go into the into that it's too early to look into all of that yet as we move i'm going to show you more question 10 hey let's go question 10 says what is the function of cardiovascular system in transporting nutrients cardiovascular system and nutrients nutrients is what we're looking at here absorb nutrients from the lungs is it lost you want to absorb nutrients you see that one no follow option b say transport nutrients from the digestive system to cells and tissues option c says synthesize nutrients in the liver eliminate excess nutrients from the body what's the correct answer option p is the correct answer about nutrients from the digestive system to cells and tissues let's go we are going to 20 question 11. question 11 says which statement accurately describe cardiovascular system blood versus which statement accurately describe cardiovascular system blood versus blood versus option a says rigid wall that do not change in size rigid wall that do not change in size option b says elastic wall that allow expansion and contraction option b says c says smooth muscle layer only in arteries option d says thin wall with no valves which statement accurately describe cardiovascular system blood versus of course the blood vessels of cardiovascular system are they elastic or they are rigid they are elastic and they allow for expansion and contraction that means from b the correct answer i'll show you this here now the filler question 12. in question 12 we're giving this beautiful question what is the main function of kidney in cardiovascular system your kidney what's their main function bro kidneys is what we're looking at here transport of oxygen oxygen that's carried out by um, lungs lungs we exchange oxygen filtration of waste products and excess substances filtration majorly you are talking about kidney there share this here now um option c say oxygen oxygenation of blood oxygenation of blood that's lungs option this is exchange of nutrients exchange of nutrients talking about nutrients should say liver now what's the correct answer main function of kidneys filtration of waste products and this is the answer share this here now look at the next question everybody question 13. question 13 says that uh, which term describe the condition where blood flow through multiple pathways to reach different tissues you should know this directly what they are talking about here different pathways descending the other different different pathways. everybody does loves that option a says series circulation b says open loop circulation parallel arrangement and the unidirectional flow of course the answer parallel circulation or your parallel loop or your parallel arrangement that is from c the correct answer look at the next question there question 14 in our question 14 what is the primary function of the heart ventricles ventricles so see, ventricles are thick right also it's a storage of nutrients never regulation of blood pressure eject e e efficient ejection of blood option this is what's the answer efficient ejection of blood efficient ejection of blood and majorly you see that in the left ventricle yeah now let's go to the next question question 15 question 15 says that which type of circulation carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation? Deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation. You know the answer now. Option is systemic circulation, pulmonary circulation, coronary circulation, and hepatic circulation. What's the answer? Of course, it is your pulmonary word circulation option. Please, the answer. Systemic circulation will carry oxygenated blood to the body tissues. Coronary heart itself. Supply the heart and then 
Now, question 16. Look at this sweet question. Sweet question. Which system is true regarding blood flow in cardiovascular system? What is true regarding blood flow in the cardiovascular system? Option A says, blood flow is always continuous and not affected by heartbeat. A way. Option B says, blood flow originate from the skin and then move to the adults council that one can never be the answer option c says blood flow is pulsatile due to heart beats and become more continuous in blood vessels option d says pulsatile flow occur only in veins what's the correct answer of course blood flow is pulsatile due to heart beats and become more continuous in blood vessels that means option c the correct answer look at question 17 ay 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 let's go let's go ay 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 Question 17 here says that uh, what is the primary function of skin in the cardiovascular system? Your skin, what do they do? Option A say oxygen exchange, filtration of waste products, elimination of carbon dioxide, elimination of waste product through sweat. Now, it is not just filtration of waste product, but what do they do? Elimination of waste product through what sweat become the correct answer option D. Look at question 18 here. In question 18, the beautiful question says that uh, what is the primary function of cardiovascular system in relation to hormones, hormones, hormones? Option is it producing hormones? Option is it distributing hormones? And then we have eliminating hormones and then we are storing hormones. Now, they don't produce hormones because hormones are produced in the glands. Do they eliminate hormones, eliminating hormones, storing hormones? What is the correct answer? Of course, they distribute hormones. Option B is the correct answer. Look at the question number 19, penultimate question. Let's go. Question 19 says, which character is associated with pulmonary circulation? Which character? Pulmonary, pulmonary. Option is it carry oxygenated blood? to the body tissues wrong that systemic circulation option b says involve higher pressures than systemic mm, i will not say anything option c says operate with closed loop and then option d says carry the oxygenated blood to the lungs now what is the main character here associated with pulmonary circulation of course pulmonary circulation does not carry oxygenated blood rather they carry the oxygenated blood to the what lungs to receive oxygenation that is option d the correct answer to this question so what about involve higher pressure than system? Which one has higher pressure? Of course, systemic circulation has higher pressure, while your pulmonary is at the lower pressure. If you are comparing pressure in the two of them, look at the last question, guys. Question number twenty. Let's go, my guys. Let's go. Let's go. In question twenty, here, explain the significance of positive mean pressure in the cardiovascular system and how it contributes to maintaining circulation during diastole. Positive mean pressure. Option is it positive mean pressure prevent blood circulation during diastole? Wrong. Option positive mean pressure ensure efficient ejection of blood during systole. I don't know. Option C says positive mean pressure is irrelevant to the cardiovascular system. It's not true. Positive mean pressure contributes to the relaxation of the atmosphere. So, what's the correct answer? Of course, positive mean pressure ensure efficient ejection of blood during systole. That makes us from B the correct answer. Of course, this brings us to the end of everything that we should know about the top 20 questions on introduction to cardiovascular system but guys see you quickly in the next class if you're not subscribed do that very quickly and then check out the learning tab and enjoy guys